Hey guys, my name is Bole Adesimoye, WBFF Muscle Motor Pro, four times world champion. Today, I'm in a kitchen. I'm going to show you how I prep my food two days at a time to help you guys out there and make it as simple as possible. Champions don't become champions when they're in the event. With proper nutrition, you can achieve anything. Hey guys, thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel. Man, focus on your nutrition, you'll get anyway. I have a quote that I always use. With proper nutrition, you can achieve anything because you've got to make sure that you have the right nutrition to achieve the goals that you want. If it's performance related, body composite gold, body fat reduction, or weight loss, whatever that is, you need proper nutrition. So nutrition is the keto thing that we do. So I'm gonna go through my breakfast. My breakfast is very simple. So here we have, um, for you guys in America, oat milk. For us in the UK, we call it oats. And I have 100 grams of oats in there with a teaspoon of cinnamon and 20 grams of plant-based protein powder, which is here which I love plant-based protein powder. It just works really well with me. Dairy products gives me a bit of a dodgy stomach at time. Um, as I got older, I've created almost like a dairy intolerance, um, which it, I don't understand, but I still love my vanilla ice cream. So they're not gonna take that away from me, that's for sure. And I've mixed that in in a bowl and I've even used, I've used a bit of almond milk here. So you can use around 200 milliliters of almond milk or you can mix it with water. Uh, whatever your preference, you can use whatever you want. But the almond milk that I've used is the no sugar almond milk. Make sure you grab that one and mix it together. I mix that together and I'll put it in an airtight container, which will go in the fridge overnight. And then when I w wake up in the morning, I'll put some frozen berries on top with 30 grams of peanut butter to get my fat. And I've got my protein and I've got my carbs and I've got my fat all in one bowl. I love overnight oats, so I find it very simple and I can eat that every single day of the week. I'm okay with that. Then I have my eggs. At the moment, I'm having five old eggs every morning, um, just boiled. I love soft boiled eggs, so I tend to boil my eggs for about seven minutes and then I eat the eggs. So that's my meal one. Then when it comes to the rest of the day, how I prepare my meal for the rest of the day is I know that I'm gonna be out. That if I'm at the fire station, I know I'm gonna be out of the house for at least a good 12 hours. So for me, it's important. I work a 10 and a half hour shift. I need my food with me. So I need to have my food prepared when I'm going into the fire station. So what I tend to do to prepare my food is I have my chicken cut out that I'm going to cook for the day. And I have my carbs, which is my sweet potato, or I have my rice, then I have my salmon here as well um, for my dinner. So I'm gonna show you guys how I marinate my chicken and what I do to marinate my chicken. As you can see here, I've got peri peri seasoning for my chicken here, which is great for seasoning chicken. And I try to use just one tablespoon of olive oil to help it absorb. And I also use half a lemon as well. So lemon is also great to add a bit of flavor to the food. And for the sweet potato, I've got smoked paprika, game changer for me. And again, with a bit of uh, a tablespoon or so of olive oil. And we basically just mix that all together. And when you're cooking rice, a lot of people don't know how to cook rice. And I didn't know how to cook rice for a very long time um because i just didn't know what i was doing so for every cup of rice you cook i would say you use two cups of water um so i've got uh two cups of rice here so when i'm cooking this rice it's gonna be four cups of water but make sure the measuring cup that you use is the same as the quantity that you use to measure the rice so again that's very important so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to prep all the food uh get everything ready um i've got an air fryer behind me here in my kitchen which is fantastic I'm going to use that to cook some of the food and I'm going to put some of the sweet potatoes going to go in the oven. Uh, the chicken is going to be marinated and goes into the air fryer and the rice is going to be boiled. So guys, and also just not to forget guys, the vegetables here. Vegetables is very important. I always say to all my clients, my coaching clients, you can eat as much green vegetables as your body can take. The most important thing is you, when you're on a diet, you want to eat food that's got volume. So vegetables, salads all those green really good stuff that's got volume that's going to make you feel fuller for longer um 
it's very important that you eat that. And also when it comes to carbohydrate, you want to make sure you pick complex carbs over simple carbs. The difference between the two is simple carbs are things like pasta. You don't want to be eating pasta as part of your diet. You can stay away from that bread, especially because what tends to happen is your insulin level goes up and it crashes again. So you're, you're going to get very hungry very quickly where complex carbohydrate will help you balance your energy throughout the day. This is very important. This is one of the reasons I love cho choosing sweet potato and I love choosing rice. For me, when it comes to the chicken, again, I love chicken. Chicken is easy. I can eat chicken all day long. Um, just make sure you marinate it really well. There's so many different ways you can you can cook chicken and you can marinate chicken. So I always try and experiment with different ways. So I'm going to mix the stuff together, get it all ready to be cooked. First and foremost, my sweet potato will go here in my mixing bowl that I've got. We don't want rice in the sweet potato. So that will go in my mixing container that I've got here. So this is my mixing container that I've got here. Again, with a smoked paprika, we sprinkle the sp smoked paprika over the top of the sweet potato. Um, grab my olive oil behind me here. Again, grab my measuring spoon behind me here as well. And it's very important that I just use one tablespoon of olive oil. And this is very important. And all I do is I mix it all together like that. Give it a little bit of a stir with my spoon. Add a bit of salt and pepper. All I'm using there, guys, is just regular sea salt. If I had my way, I'll always choose Himalayan pink salt over regular sea salt. So, but this is all I'm using. This is all I've got in the house at the moment. So I'm just using this up. Then I've got black pepper. It's just a whole black pepper corn. Whack it all in there. Some of you may want to put your salt and pepper on after you cook it. For me, I like it to cook with the salt and pepper. It will just add a bit of flavor to it. So. This is all now been mixed together. As you can see here, it's just looks amazing. You know, it's got sufficient amount of olive oil, which is one tablespoon. I've put some smoked paprika in that. I've put some black pepper and some sea salt in that. That just looks absolutely amazing. So that now that's ready to go in the oven. All I'll do, I'll sit it my oven up, preheat the oven to around 100 to around 200 centigrade. Make sure the oven's ready to go warm that up and now i'll just put that nicely in the oven dish this will need approximately 30 minutes in the oven so i'll put that in the oven i just place that in the oven out the way my timer will start once the oven is warm so in my oven at the moment i've got a light to indicate when the oven's ready to be used so my timer will start then so i'm keeping an eye on the time now 30 minutes timer will start uh, once it's actually ready to go for 30 minutes. With the vegetables, broccoli, I just steam my vegetables. So I've got a nice steamer that I use here. A very nice steamer that I use to steam my vegetables. Again, it's just a nice regular steamer. I just put my vegetables in there. Ready to go. So I've rinsed the vegetables. I've put some cold water at the bottom. Put the lid on. Stick that on the hob. I like my, my vegetables very crunchy, so my vegetables will need approximately about five or eight minutes or so, depending on how you like your vegetables cooked. So that's done. Now it's time to cook the rice. So as discussed here, there's two cups of rice in here. Pour it in, into the saucepan. Make sure we got no sweet potato inside the rice that we're about to cook. And then rinse the rice again. I tend to give it about a good two to three rinse with cold water. Just using some cold water to rinse the rice. Make sure you get all the starch out of the rice. Rinse it. You know, the, the water will be a bit cloudy. Basically, you want to carry on rinsing your rice because the water is a little bit more, less cloudy. To begin with, you want to get rid of all the starch, cloudy water within the rice. Three to four times to rinse that rice. Again, a lot of people cook rice in so many different ways. This is the easiest way i found to cook rice. Some people say use cold water. Some people say use hot water. I just use cold water, like I said to you guys before. Two cups of rice, four cups of water. So for every cup of rice that you're putting in, you use two cups of water for every cup of rice that you put in. Again, for me, when I'm cooking rice, this is something I got from my mum. You know, um, she loves to add a bit, of, a little bit of sea salt into the water. When we're cooking the rice, just a little bit of sea salt. You know, make sure that you get enough salt with the body. It's important that you get sufficient amount of salt. So guys, as you can see here, for every two cups of rice, it's two cups of water. Um, so make sure I've got two cups of rice in there, so I've got four cups of water. 
cold water. Again, I just stick it on the hob uh, and I can start this straight away. Uh, basically, because I tend to cook my rice for about 12 minutes or so. So what I tend to do is I wait for it to start boiling. Once the water's come to a boil, then I'll start my, my 12 minute timer. Right, that's all set, ready to go. Now, this is already marinated. So as you can see, guys, this is already marinated. What I use here is just regular fish seasoning to marinate this salmon right here uh, with a bit of lemon, half a lemon, and again, just a little bit of olive oil just to help it. So that's already marinated, ready to go for tonight. That's tonight's dinner. So what I do with my chicken now is again, put into my mixing bowl. I have my uh, peri peri seasoning. Give a bit of seasoning. When you buy seasonings, it's important that you look at the ingredients. And I always, one of the things I always do when I look at ingredients is if sugar is anywhere listed in the top three ingredients, put it right back. You know, what's contained within this jar, the quantity, if it's sugar, is listed second, third, fourth, or even fifth, put it right back, you know. Because uh, you don't want too much sugar in your diet. You want to try and make sure we stay away from refined sugar and consume normal, good quality stuff such as we get from fruit, such as blueberries, raspberries, apples and bananas. You know, that's good sugar, not refined sugar. So again, always check the label when you buy a seasoning in any supermarket. Always check the label. This is Peri Peri Seasoning. Absolutely love the season. It's one of my favorite. I always use it. Now, get my lemon. Half a lemon, nice and easy. Squeeze half a lemon into there. Very nice. Again, I just do a little bit of olive oil, tablespoon of olive oil, mix all of that together nicely. And if you really want to get this marinade, obviously to really marinate the chicken really well, you can do it overnight. Uh, marinate the food overnight if you wish. Uh, for me, I tend to just uh, marinate my food in the morning and I leave it for 20 minutes or so to let it marinate really well. But at the moment, um, because I'm hungry and I want to eat, I'm actually going to marinate it now, as it is now, just going in the air fryer for 20 minutes. So that's now gone in the air fryer for 20 minutes. But in the meantime, guys, I'm going to just go through everything that we've gone through today in regards to making your food prep as simple as possible. I know a lot of you guys out there might think, well, I don't want to eat chicken every day. I don't want to eat salmon every day. I want to have a choice uh, of food that I eat. Um, what I tend to say to client is, the simpler you make things for yourself, the easier it is to follow and stick to. If you start making your meal complicated and complex, it's going to be hard to stick to. I know some people have got family that you want to eat with your family. You just got to make all healthier choices as a family. I know kids sometimes may want the chicken nuggets and chips. They can still have that, just not as frequently as they used to. And it's about making that good choice and making sure you get a good source of protein, good source of animal protein if you can. If you don't, if you're a vegan or some form, you can get another form of protein, but a good source of animal protein uh, always helps towards muscle building and muscle recovery and everything else. So my list of protein goes very simple. I eat chicken breast, turkey breast, salmon, white fish, and I rarely eat steak, but I try and have a, a steak maybe once or twice uh, a month. That's it. I try and have minimize the consumption of red meat because of the digestion. Uh, for carbohydrates, again, I have sweet potato, I have white rice, and I have quinoa sometimes. A lot of people say, why white rice over brown rice? The glycemic index between brown rice and white rice are very similar. So if you don't understand what the glycemic index means, is what actually does to your body when you consume it. For me, I like the taste of basmatic white rice. It's easier to cook than brown rice. Brown rice, you'd be cooking it for like 30 minutes or so. With simple white basmatic rice, you can cook it in 12 minutes. Again, now that the time is actually, I can actually check the rice, talking about rice. That is now boiling over. I can now say, Alexa, set me a timer for 12 minutes. And while the, whilst that time has been, uh, been set, I turn the heat right down on the rice and let it cook. So yes, yeah, so going back to what I was saying in regards to simplifying things for yourself, if you choose a wide variety of carbohydrates to consume from and a wide variety of protein to consume from, 
and a wide variety of vegetables consumed from and a wide variety of fats consumed from is going to be very difficult. So going back to what I was saying in regards to what I consume when it comes to protein, I have chicken thighs, um, turkey breasts, uh, chicken breasts, um, salmon, white fish and steak. That's it. I always make sure my, my proteins on my, on my plate first whenever I'm consuming anything. And also I have eggs as well, obviously for protein. So that makes seven types of protein that I consume. And I also use vegan protein powder. So you can say eight if you want. For carbohydrates, I use sweet potato, quinoa, oat meal, oats for us in the UK. Um, and keep it simple like that for me. I, do, I think that's simple. Vegetables, I have uh, long stem broccoli. To me, it's been a game changer that I discovered it. I was like, where have I been? Um, I used to buy the, the big old broccoli and top it up. And it used to be like chicken, rice and broccoli. Typical bodybuilder diet. It felt boring. Food shouldn't be boring. And if you make sure that you eat within your macronutrients, at least five to six days a week, you can have a day where you can eat off for away from your macronutrients, depending on how your weight loss journey or your body composite goal is going. But if you really want to take things seriously, I'll say simplify things, choose about five sources of protein, five sources of carbohydrate, vegetables you can eat as much as you want, just make sure it's green, as much green vegetables as you want. For fats, again, you don't need too many sources of fats. I'm, I have three sources of fats that I go to all the time. They're nut, nut butter, um, olive oil and avocado. They're the three sources of fat that I go to on a regular basis. I tend to use olive oil just to season my food to get my fats in. Uh, I love it. It really does good. It's really good for um, marinating food and seasoning food. I just use it to get my fats really, to get my fat in. So it's very simple for you to follow your macronutrients. The way you will follow your macronutrients is to make sure that you're actually hitting your actual macronutrient target that you've set yourself is by tracking. Um, people might say, I hate tracking. I don't want to track, but all I will say to you is if you don't want to track your food, then you've got to fill that your goals that you want to reach may take you a little bit longer. It's like, I want to save to buy a house and I don't want to track my savings. Uh, how am I going to know when I'm in a position to buy a house if I don't track my savings? This is important. I know a lot of people that come to me and say, I don't want to track. I don't like tracking. This is the things, this is the analogies I give them. You don't have to track, but what you do is eat sensibly. And if you want to see results fast, when you track, you will see results a lot quicker than those that don't track. This is very, very important. Simple is the most important thing for you. If you could take anything away from this video, keep your nutrition very simple, keep it consistent, and make sure that you do not be someone who's sticking to a diet for like two to three days and then eating for the rest of the week how you want. It doesn't work that way, it's consistency. You've got to think, the choice that I make today, is it taking me in the right direction towards my fitness goals? This is the question you need to ask yourself. Once you ask yourself that question, then you'll be able to get the answer that you need to achieve your optimal physique goals. This is very important. Everything that I've shown you today, guys, again, is something that I've done for a very long time. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this, meaning eating healthy, um, and I do eat off plan. But what I would say is if you're going to eat off plan is track it as well. It's important to track it because then you can see where you're going and how you've managed to hit your macronutrients target for the day. A secret that I'll give to you guys is what I do is with clients to work out the macronutrient for a client. Keep it simple. For body fat reduction, I work between 7 to 10 calories for every pound of body weight. So whatever you weigh, say you weigh 250 pounds, give or take. I would basically just time your weight by uh, 10 calories. So that would give you 2,500 calories to consume for the day. And then whatever you weigh in pounds, I would say you want to have a gram of protein for every pound of body weight. So you should be consuming around 250 grams of protein. The rest of your macronutrients will come from your fats and also will come from the carbohydrate. Um, just to keep it simple with you guys, for every gram of carbs, there's four calories. For every gram of protein, there's four calories. For every gram of fat, there's nine calories. So there's extra calories in the fat consumption, double the amount of calories uh, in the fat consumption. So this is very important that you understand that and you take that on board when it comes to planning your meal. Like that old saying goes, failure to prepare is preparing to fail. Prepare yourself. It'll take an hour or so out of your day to prepare for a couple of days at a time. Again, I've just shown you a quick little snapshot here of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis to help me reach my fitness, to health and fitness goals, make sure that I'm heading in the right direction. 
and make sure that I'm actually hitting my protein target, my carbohydrate target for the day. Guys, if you like this video and you wanna see more of this sort of video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments box below what you think of this video and what you would like me to do next. That's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed it and taken something away from that. God bless you, keep smiling, and let's get swole like wild.